in the previous unit we created an empty SWOT project and this is where we stopped. In this unit we are going to delineate watershed for the outlet point that is given to us. So before we do that let's go ahead and add that outlet point. So I will go to layers, add layer, add vector layer and then we have already selected this if you don't see the cedar underscore outlet you can browse by using this button say add and say ok and close so this is where the outlet point is so let's go back to our QSWAT interface and push the delineate watershed button So the first thing that we have to do is we have to select the DEM. So this is cedar underscore DEM. Okay. And then we don't have any stream network to burn. So we are not going to check this box. We are going to delineate our stream by using a threshold area of 25 square kilometer and when you change that area you will also see the change in the number of cells now if you remember in the previous tools that we have used to delineate watershed we follow the flow direction flow accumulation steps so in SWAT all of that is combined so once you specify the threshold you hit the create streams button And since all the steps of creating flow direction, flow accumulation is included in that single create streams button, this process will take some time before you see the stream network added to the map. So just be patient until this process is complete. As this process is running, you will see some messages here and that will tell you that the process is still running after the process is complete you will see the stream network added to the map and what we are going to do next is we are going to delineate a watershed by creating an outlet point closer to the outlet shape file we have so let's go back to the SWOT interface so we are going to click on draw inlet outlet and then it will ask you what kind of inlet or outlet type you want in this case we do not want any of these we want the outlet so this is good so what we are going to do is we are going to zoom in you can zoom in by using the middle scroll button on your mouse and we are going to select a point just upstream of this outlet point that is given to us and we want to digitize our point on this blue line so I'm going to select here and say OK on this interface and then we'll go back to this interface even though we were careful in digitizing this point on the blue line sometimes it may not lie exactly on the blue line so we are going to make sure that it gets snapped there is a default threshold of 300 meters here which we will not change and we will click on review snapped and you will then get a message here that says one point was snapped to the blue line which is good and once this is done we will click on click watershed button here and once that process is complete you will see the watershed added to the map so we will zoom out and and then you will see that the sub basins are created based on the stream network we have and before running the watershed delineation we had stream all over this DEM those stream lines got trimmed and now we only have streams that are inside the watershed boundary that we delineated so we have sub basins for Cedar Creek watershed now and we are done with this process 
so we'll go back to the interface here and say OK but before that let's also see what other options we have if there are some small sub basins that you want to merge you can select those sub basins here use the merge option if you want to add reservoirs and other point sources you can do that by using this option and then if you do not want to do that you can push ok here and what this does is it created the sub basins and now we are ready to go to the next step which is create hydrologic response units so the good thing about QSWAT is that once you finish one step successfully the next step will get highlighted here or it becomes available to us so this is it for this unit in the next unit we will create hydrologic response units now let's also go back and look at the folder here so if you click on watershed shapes you will see that there is river1.dbf this is the stream network that was delineated the outlet draw outlet one this is the outlet point that we digitized and this is the one that was snapped and then all the other layers such as the watershed boundary are stored inside cedar underscore SWAT database which we will not open here so this is it for this unit in the next unit we will create the hydrologic response unit which is step two in QSWAT. So save your project and this is it.